Hey, what's going on? This is Ola coming to you live from my Empire Pro Studios. Um, on this particular episode of my Empire Challenge, I want to share with you uh, my story uh, with regards to my first five years as a, as a professional in any, in any way. Um, at the end of this video, make sure you go to freeworkshop.us. Um, I have a webinar on there that will teach you exactly how to generate leads and how to attract more leads, attract more sales. The keyword is attract, okay? So if you want to learn how to do that, uh, how I do that effortlessly, 10 to 30 leads every single day, quality leads that convert highly, okay, into literally I get to double my money. So make sure you go to freeworkshop.us after this video. So my first five years in, uh, in business, not in business, professionally, okay? My first five years as a professional was uh, during my college years, okay? And that's the only thing I can count because after college, uh, I pretty much got into entrepreneurship and it's been 10 years, okay? So I, I didn't really have something I used my degrees for, okay? I have a, I have degrees in, uh, I was trying to see if I can grab my certificate. I have degrees in computer engineering and um, engineering management and I never used them except in my business, right? So, um, but before that, during my college years, I was working with FedEx. So, in 1999, I, I found, you know, a friend of mine introduced me to the job at FedEx, uh, literally at the airport, and it was all about lifting boxes. Now, I was at that spot for, for about one year, okay, I was at the airport, boxes. I was probably lifting boxes for maybe one or two, three months, something like that, you know, something very short before the manager could see that I probably don't belong there. <laughs> But they put me in a place where I was just sitting down and just watching stuff and clearing stuff. And, you know, so it was a good time at the airport right here in Newark, New Jersey. After that, I advanced on, I took a position uh, in, in a, at, a, at the local station. Same thing, FedEx, okay. I took a position as a courier. And I started driving. And I would drive on the road in New Brunswick, New Jersey for the next six years, uh, delivering, uh, delivering packages in the morning. Now, um... During, like, probably like uh, the second semester into that job of driving on the road, I was 19, 20 years old. I was so young. I was the youngest in the whole station, as you can imagine. A lot of people that have been there for 30 years, 20 years, 25 years. Uh, but I enjoyed that job, okay? So I enjoyed it so much. Uh, the, there was a semester that came and I felt like I needed money. And then I decided to take on full time. Full time. Uh, and picking up packages in the afternoon from 2 to 10. What happened is that I totally end up destroying my grades in school that semester, and it was a bad situation, so I had to snap back into part-time. And I was lucky enough because the manager at the time was telling me, like, hey, listen, you could have been fired just like that because you should have thought about it very well before you made a decision. But I was lucky that was an opening, another opening for for part-time in the morning, which is like 6 to 10, so I could go to school just like I did. So I did that for one semester. No, no, yeah, something like that. Like one semester, destroyed my grade and went back to the part-time, and then I did that for the next five years or so. So in total, I was at FedEx for seven years. Uh, by the time of my, by the time was my fifth, sixth year, I graduated with a master's degree in computer engineering from NGIT, uh, engineering school, and uh, with the first degree, master's degree, but I decided to stay there at FedEx. Uh, because uh, at that time, I had been exposed to entrepreneurship, and I knew that's what I wanted to do. In October 2006, one year after I got my, my master's degree, I decided to, because I had about $100,000 sitting in my bank account from my business that I started all from home. So, and I've never had a day job since then. That was 2006, so it's been 10 years, okay? Uh, 10 years plus, okay? So, that's pretty much my first few years as a professional. I learned a lot in that process, believe it or not. Uh, believe it or not. I learned a lot, uh, a lot of things that I use in my business, processes, project management, so I learned it from FedEx. So I'll forever be grateful for that experience as opposed to what you may hear from gurus out there, right? Actually, every step through my journey is a big deal and I've learned to appreciate everything that happened in my life. First five years, anything. All of that stuff is what built me up to where I'm at right now, where I'm able to share this information with you, okay? It's all of it that led to me building my business. I used a lot of those skill sets. So what's the point here? What is it that you 
that you were doing in your past life, okay? And you, you came into entrepreneurship, maybe you wanted to build a business or you want to, and then you, somebody told you just lose everything that you've done in the past. Um, that is really, really the wrong advice. What I'm going to suggest to you is to find it, whatever you did in your past, and can find how you can leverage it here because that's what I do. My degree was not a waste, okay? Uh, chances are, if I knew what I was going to do before college, I wouldn't go to college, but I didn't. So, so I went to college, and I, I was just talking to my wife yesterday uh, that, listen, if my kids are very sure on what they want to do, and they could go into the professional world before college, I'm going to definitely encourage them to go into the professional world because the best way to learn is on the job. But if they're not sure, then I absolutely encourage the college to go through college, regular university, whatever, right? So, again, that's my point here. My point here is whatever you've done in your past life, all of that stuff, you can leverage it. If you need help finding how you can leverage it, then talk to us, okay? Because all those things can mean multi-million dollar business in your pocket over the next few years. But if you don't find it, if you come here and you're at the age of 50, 60, trying to scramble around and somebody's telling you everything you've done in your past has been a waste, um, that's very sad. But I want to tell you, I want to encourage you that you can absolutely leverage those things here. And that's what this platform is all about, okay? So hopefully you've been enlightened and educated. Right now, go to freeworkshop.us and take advantage of the webinar that I have on there. You can learn how to build a business from scratch with your ideas, with your own. If you have a network marketing you're trying to build, you should still leverage everything you've done in the past to build whatever it is you're trying to build. And how we're going to do that is what I'll show you at freeworkshop.us. And I will see you on the next one. And peace.